Hi there, I'm Danny Sloan from Utah Education Network. This teacher tip is about screen time. Now, screen time can kind of be a tricky topic for educators. On one hand, it is a powerful tool for learning and for engagement. On the other, it can actually be detrimental for our students' physical and mental health and become a distraction in itself. Let's talk about a few tips to balance screen time within our own classrooms. The first thing that we usually want to consider is the age of our students. However, the American Academy of Pediatrics and the World Health Organization really say that after the age of five, age doesn't necessarily matter because what's more important is the quality of the technology and media that our students and children are consuming more so than the quantity. Don't get me wrong, too much is too much, but let's think of some of the things that make it better or worse for us to use technology. Common Sense Media has come up with these categories of screen time. Okay, the first one is passive. This is basically scrolling through social media mindlessly, scrolling our feeds, you know, hours and hours on Twitter or Pinterest. Um, probably a lot of how we use technology as adults to unwind after a rough day. This is, it's not the best use of technology and it's not good for us uh, physically or mentally. The next step, a little bit better, is interactive screen time. So things like gaming, problem solving, working things out with another person. It's better, it's still not great though. A step above that is communication. Are we using our technology to collaborate, to see other humans in our life? And this can even be actively using social media to communicate. We know that social media can be problematic in its own way, but if we are using it as a creation tool and a connection tool, it's better than ju just mindlessly scrolling on TikTok. And the best is of course content creation. Are we using our technology to make something entirely new to the world? Whether it be digital photography, digital art, creating a podcast, coding something new, if we are using our technology to create something, that's when it is best for us and for our students. So there are going to be days that are tech heavy. It's just how it is. So when you have days that you know you and your students are going to be on technology a lot, plan breaks into those days. Um, Dr. Jeffrey Anschel, he's an optometrist, came up with the 2020 rule that you might have heard. What this rule says is that every 20 minutes on tech, we need to schedule a break for our eyes and to look at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. Better yet, stand up, get outside, get away from your technology. Now that may sound like something minuscule, but think about when you're working at your desk at your computer, how often are you actually looking away from the screen and not looking, taking a break to look at another screen? That doesn't count. We wanna make sure that the tech we choose to have in our classrooms is being picked intentionally. We are picking it for a really good reason. So ask yourself some questions. What is the best tool for what I'm trying to accomplish? If it can be done without tech, maybe consider not using tech in that instance. Ask yourself, is my classroom more or less collaborative because of the tech that I'm using? Again, if you're giving your students more opportunity to work with one another, that's a great thing. However, if it's making them, you know, if they're like this little girl in the picture wearing headphones, just doing something by themselves, maybe we need to choose a different tool or not use tech in this instance. And the last question to ask is, is the technology making my classroom more accessible for students or less accessible? Is the tech helping my students or is it actually hurting them? Now, some of the ed tech frameworks that we use regularly, like SAMR, TPAC, and Triple E, can help you to assess the technology um, that you're using and make sure that you're using it wisely and effectively. And if those words SAMR, TPAC, and Triple E are something that you've never heard before, don't worry, we got you covered. Learn to use tech effectively by taking a class from Utah Education Network. In addition to having the EdTech endorsement where you could learn about all of those EdTech frameworks, 
we have a variety of classes to help you learn how to best use technology in your classroom. Everything from using a learning management system like Canvas most effectively, to engaging your students with Nearpod, or using some of the creative tools that are available in Adobe. We'd love to see you in one of our classes. Check that out at uen.org slash register. Thanks for watching UEN's Teacher Tips. We'll see you next week.